Ryan with longrangeonly.com here and in this video we're going to take a look at the Gunworks Magnus stock. Roughly a year ago they started offering their stocks as component pieces and we put one on order and got this Magnus somewhere uh, late December and had the rest of the rifle somewhere in the vicinity of that. So we've been shooting it for quite a few months now and feel like we have a good solid opinion on uh, how we feel about the stock with some good field use and shooting time behind it. Now big picture they offer this in carbon fiber or fiberglass and we chose to get it in carbon fiber and this one is the exposed carbon fiber with the the painting splotches on it. You can also get it fully painted and in the carbon fiber configuration this stock weighs two pounds 12 ounces as you see it here and the, obviously the fiberglass is going to be a little heavier. So uh, what sep separates this from other stocks, biggest, the biggest things are going to be uh, the integrated Picatinny rail right up here, uh, which I really like. It does two things. It keeps the rifle barrel, the center of the rifle closer to the bipod, which is going to aid in tracking and it also allows a smooth uh, area up here for those that do shoot occasionally off of a front rest. The Picatinny rails that are screwed to the stock can cause vertical issues when the recoil causes them to hit the uh, bags on front rest. Uh, it, it just messes with the recoil and the tracking and causes vertical I mean, it's not a guarantee, but it is an issue that you could have. Uh, the other thing, this stock has an adjustable uh, butt plate, so it's adjustable for the elevation, and that can help you on certain field shots where you're shooting real steep up or downhill. Uh, I personally would prefer that it didn't have it. It adds extra weight, and... It, taking it off just because it's designed in the stock you're probably not going to save anything i did talk to the guys at gunworks about the possibility of that and ultimately chose just to leave it because it is designed into the stock and it's not a deal breaker for me uh, it does have the qd uh, attachments two on the the rear one on each side and then it's got one integrated into the picatinny rail so those that are familiar with flush cups and like to have the flush cups that are integrated into the stock. And then I think the biggest thing that sets the stock apart from lots of others, and there are stocks that are very similar it was to this, is going to be the negative comb. There are a lot of flat comb stocks out there, but the negative comb does a couple things for you. The back towards the heel is uh, high enough, so the drop at the heel versus the center line of the bore of the action is very, very small. As a matter of fact, your cleaning rod's probably going to hit on it when you're cleaning. And that keeps your eye in alignment with the scope so that you can spot shots through the recoil of the rifle. The little bit more drop at the comb here that gives it that negative comb helps uh, as you as the rifle recoils the stock actually drops away from your cheek so you don't feel the recoil in your cheek uh, a lot of stocks out there with the opposite can give headaches or you know discomfort cause flinching and stuff like that all the negative uh, habits that come from that so that's one of the biggest advantages to this stock. Now Gunworks has had that in their stocks for quite a few years. So I think realistically the biggest thing that's changed has been right in here in the, the grip area. So it, this Magnus is a vertical grip and it's on par with some of the best vertical grips out there. And the relationship between the grip and the trigger is relatively uh, standard at about two to two and a half inches. Okay, moving on, it's got an ambidextrous thumb shelf right here, which gives you a nice, comfortable place to keep your thumb. So I think both right and left-handed shooters will find that very helpful. 
It is inleted for several different bottom metals. You can get uh, M5 bottom metal, uh, PTG bottom metal, Hawkins bottom metal, and this is inleted for the Gunworks bottom metal, which I think is very nice. A uh, little plug for the Gunworks bottom metal, especially if you're getting their stock. It is flat here, which is gonna make it very nice for shooting off backpacks or shooting off of uh, odd things, not necessarily the bipod with the rear rest. Uh, action inlets, it's in, inletted for several different popular actions. Most likely the action that you're after uh, for short and long actions is gonna be available. And then barrel contours, same thing. It's inletted for what I would consider to be the most popular barrel contours, and there are just far too many to list. Uh, it does have an aluminum bedding block, which does add to some of the weight of the stock. Uh, the advantages of that is the fact that you can drop this in and get the accuracy out of it without having to bed it. Now, we could argue about it, whether or not bedding would increase the ultimate accuracy, but I can tell you after bolting this thing in straight to the uh, aluminum bedding block and it's shooting uh, just as good as I would expect the rifle to shoot from any uh, setup, uh, whether it be bedded or not bedded. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. What it does do is allow you to drop it in to the stock without having to mess with bedding. And I, I appreciate that as many rifles as I test and shoot and that kind of thing. It's nice not to have to bed another action. So let's go ahead and wrap this, summarize this and wrap this up. Who is this stock for? I think this stock is for anyone who is not placing the ultimate lightweight stock at the top of their list, but wants something that's still relatively light. Uh, it's not crazy heavy, uh, two and three quarter pounds. It's definitely uh, not out of line with a lot of the other stocks out there. And by the time you throw a carbon barrel on, carbon fiber barrel on it or a titanium action, you're not gonna be crazy heavy anyways. It, it is going to be, in my opinion, near the, the pinnacle of tracking ability which is going to make you a more consistent shooter from field position so i definitely think if you're looking for a stock for a long range hunting build the gunworks magnus is a stock that you need to take a look at uh, if you are wanting most of these features but you have to have that ultimate lightweight you should take a look at the climber we've got one in hand and we will be reviewing that as soon as we've get some more time behind it but... For any questions on this, we will have a link in the description below to a thread on longrangeonly.com. If you're not a member, it's quick and free and easy to sign up. Go ahead and head over there and uh, sign up. Ask me any questions in the thread and I'll get those answered for you. Please like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified of future uh, video releases. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a great day.